एंड वेलकम टू हेराल टी वी न्यूज़ बुलेटिन विद मी लारिसवाज The 16B and 17-2 amendments to the Goa Land Development and Building Construction Regulations 2010 proposed by notification are going to spell death for Goan lands. In the special Ground Zero report, Herald TV shows you how the amendments are being opposed by prominent environmentalists across Goa. Tune in to Herald TV at 4.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. to watch the entire report. सत्तावीस एप्रिला गोये सरकार एक नोटिफिकेशन का गोवा लैंड डेवलपमेंट एंड बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन रेगुलेशन ते एमेंड करूं सोता बद बदलूक सोता आनी लोक एक महीनो दिल हजेर अपने ऑब्जेक्शन घपा जेना ये एमेंडमेंट कायदो जो बदलू सोता हजेर अभ्यास कहून आये कि ये मैं फ्त गोय काबार कर आनी एक षड्यंत्र आता आता हा कायद्या तीन कि कि जे रिजनल प्लैन ज्यो जमनी सगल्यों सामा दौर मैं ए वन ए टू जोन मैं राना सी आर जेड एरिया भाटा शेता हि सी ती हा जाग आता वे वे प्रकल्प परमिट परमिशन दिवा हा प्रकपाक ती वो कायदो का मैं जे जमनी आज कहीं काड़ूक जाएना ज्यो हम राना एग्रीकल्चर जमनी आसा हा जमनी योगा मेडिटेशन सेंटर ना जो एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट एरिया ना जो कसले ओपन एयर स्पोर्ट्स ना रिलीजियस स्ट्रक्चर हा भेन वे वे प्रकल्प मैं पन्नास हजार स्क्वेर मीटर एक लाख स्क्वेर मीटर जमनी जे वे पैशेकार घ्या जमनी धा वीस हजार तीस हजार स्क्वेर मीटर वे कंस्ट्रक्शन करपा हाँ परवांगी दिवा ट्राई के One is that they have amended the Town and Country Planning Act. So we had uh, Goa Bacho Abhiyan and Goa Foundation and others. We had challenged the uh, 16B amendment. Now, because all the 7,000 applications are cancelled, and whatever money they paid to that Chodankar and all is all gone. Now they have brought in 17-2. 16B failed, so they have brought. 17 to 17 means if there is if the party claims not town planning if the party claims you have bought some land and you go there and say hey mujhe zameen best hai orchard rakho ila to orchard settlement rakho de they say correct we will make a correction and you can put your building there of a farmer's house in orchard areas and that farmer's house farmer's house was described as 50 square meters how a farmer's house now has become 1000 square meters we did a We didn't exercise for typical villages, Asaga or Aldona, and we take the orchard areas over there. And each of these villages, there can be 300, 1,000 square meter houses. As Sabina mentioned, the Adil Shah Palace, the footprint of 1,200 square meters. Do we want 300 Adil Shah palaces in every village of Goa? That is completely crazy. Okay, the basic gist of it, to me, Sagla Yad Asa, in September, these land. and development amendments came which everybody pushed back minister gave us a promise that it would be scrapped ata they have brought them back and from those 17 11 have come back among which nine are word for word exactly what people protested giant 10000 square meter square foot farm houses inside our rice fields and all sorts of crazy things we have made presentations and we can give you the details and the nitty gritties but it is just shocking to me that when people came out in such huge numbers over 2000 objection letters were received the government have brought them back under a new name so the whole process of objections has to start again so we are uh, calling people to give their objections 26th uh, may is the last day at 11 o'clock to assemble at tcp office at pato now uh, there are besides the building rule they, they also brought out a notification saying that uh, corrections will be made errors can be corrected in the regional plan so what they did was this whole eco zone which is there green area where uh, settlement is not permissible they have given permission to uh, private parties to correct better, to, to, cor- to correct, say, correct the regional plan there is no correction possible over there it is ब्यूरो 
response to distribution of contaminated food grains through fair price shops, the Civil Supplies Department has taken a stricter stance. An appointed agency has been suspended for failing to meet the food grain preservation requirements in government godowns located in Salset and Mormugao Talukas. The Civil Supplies Department has taken strict action against those in charge for the contamination of food grains in Mormugao and Salset Talukas. The Civil Supplies Inspector and in charge of godowns were reassigned to clerical duties due to mishandling of the PDS food grain preservation. The decision was prompted by news reports highlighting the supply spoiled rice filled with maggots to fair price shop owners in the talukas. The department acknowledged complaints regarding the spoiled food grain supplied to the shops in both the talukas. Notices were issued to the in charges of godans requesting explanations for the poor state of food grain preservation. But the explanations received were unsatisfactory, leading to disciplinary proceedings against the in-charges under the CCS and CAA rules 1965. An official from the department stated that we have suspended the agency for failing to maintain cleanliness at godowns and thereby preventing pests from infesting the stocks. Therefore, disciplinary action against the inspectors were taken. The department has committed to implementing additional measures to improve the storage practices and strengthen quality control in order to prevent such incidents from happening. However, the department stated that it conducted a thorough investigation and refuted the claims of plastic rice being supplied. Last year, the department faced backlash when 241 tons of dal was found to be spoiled in warehouses. In an effort to tackle the issue, Chief Minister Pramod Savan stated that it is important to have quality checks of food grains stored in Godown by civil supply inspectors. Bureau Report, Herald TV. The crime branch on Friday conducted a narcotic raid near the Girim Cross and arrested 30-year-old Papu Prakash from Jodhpur, Rajasthan. Papu was caught red-handed with 15.10 grams of white crystalline substance suspected to be MDMA, and 770 grams of a dry greenish substance suspected to be ganja, all worth Rs. 2,20,000 approx in the international market. Further investigations are on. The crime branch conducted a narcotic raid near Giri Cross and apprehended Papu Prakash, age 30, hailing from Jodhpur, Rajasthan. During the raid, the team seized various illegal substances from his possession. This included 15.10 grams of white crystalline substance suspected to be MDMA and a parcel containing dry greenish color flowering and fruit tops weighing 770 grams suspected to be ganja. The total estimate value of the seized substance in the international market is Rs. 2,20,000. The crime branch team was led by P.I. Nitin Hanankar, with staff Ishad Vatrangi, Mableshwar Savant, Saimula Makandar, Sunil Duri, Sudesh Matkar, and Sony Fernandez. The investigation is currently going on under the supervision of DYSP Suraj with P.I. Dataram Raut leading the team. Prakash Karikar for Herald TV. The Pernem Municipal Limited Premier League 2023 Cricket Tournament organized by the Lakshmi Sport and Cultural Club in Pernem saw the part participation of 10 teams. These teams will battle it out on the field, showcasing their skills and determination to lift the coveted tr tournament trophy. The finals will be played on Sunday. The Perna Municipal Limited Premier League 2023 Cricket Tournament, organized by the Lakshmi Sport and Cultural Club in Perna, saw the participation of 10 teams. These teams will battle it out on the field, showcasing their skills and determination to lift the coveted tournament trophy. The finals will be played on Sunday. The uh, Lakshmi Sport Club played a cricket tournament in the cricket tournament. We have a lot of 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 cricket मरी क्रिकेट इस उन कई तरह वो इस हर पर चेता से जामचे गुआय भर नाव कर पर चेता से और इस खूब चेता जामचे नगर पाल के क्षेत्र जी नाव आप पर है पे कि मुझे गुआय भायर मन महाराष्ट्र मन करना टकन बरे पे कि हम जे प्लेयर आते पर इस ताकि आए 
लाइट वर्क के टूर्नामेंट आयोजित के लिए तत् पद्धति आयोजक मैं धन्यवाद मटे कि माता तीन खास नगर अध्यक्ष है नाते ना पैलो तसे खास कर आम वनगढ़ नगर सेवक हाँ मुद्दा आप पैलो तंका धन्यवाद मटा स्थापन क्लब स्थापन के पैली टूर्नामेंट आ टूर्नामेंट हेतु मे भूगें बर जाए हुशार जाए तो एक हेतु आगे अ भाई कहीं वो ना हाँ क्रिकेट मध्यम सगे एक संघटित रहा आतापर्यत कि टीम्स इन्वॉल्व जो आता सब धा टीम म्युनसिपाली एरिया कितने दीस चलते दोन दीस चलते फाला पांच समारोह समारोह को आयोजक आयोजक आमदार भी ते को आमदार ना हम जमीनदार आहत हाँ देश प्रभु देवेंद्र देश प्रभु आमचे मित्र हेडमास्टर इश्कोण धन्य मास्कोच्चे राजीव बंदरे आणि नगराध्यक्ष आणि नगराध्यक्ष आणि आमचे सगळे नगरसेव विनोद मेथर हेराल टीव्ही Several mobile phones and tobacco products were seized in a raid at Kolwale Jail on Friday morning. The Inspector General of Prisons conducted the raid on the backdrop of the fight that occurred between two history sheeters in Kolwale Jail. Notorious history sheeter Tarzan Parsikar and another history sheeter Karbotkar had fought inside the prison after some tension between two rival groups. The jail administration was left red faced after incidents of fight and the seizure continued unabated ig prison had sought clarification from the jail administration on the repeated incidents of mobile phones being found inside the jail aloka will have restricted water supply on saturday due to urgent maintenance works of 500 mm diameter several parts of parties will see restricted water supply on saturday yes The PWD has announced restricted water supply to parts of Bardes Taluka on Saturday, that's 3rd of June 2023. Areas to be affected are Anjuna, Shapara, Wagadhar, Sangolda parts, Nagwa, Grand Marod, Parra, Arpora and parts of Kalangut. This restricted water supply is due to urgent maintenance work of 500 MMDI CI conveying main pipeline at Kirim. Clinton D'Souza for Herald TV. Thanks for watching Herald TV News. For more news and alerts, please follow us on O Heraldo on Facebook and Twitter. Take care and goodbye.